I didn't actually have too much of a hero. I'm from Tasmania and I must say that I didn't actually watch too much basketball on TV when I was younger. So I was actually more into little athletics. I didn't start basketball until a bit later. Once I did start playing and getting into it, obviously Lauren Jackson, um, I admired her obviously because she's tall, similar position to me. I remember when I was younger, the Opals came to Tassie and I played a lead up game with the young Tassie team before the Opals and like seeing like the Trish Ballins, the Rachel Spawn, the Lauren Jackson, Jenny Whittle and then to end up still playing with those girls many years later, like it was something that I'd never dreamt at that time <laughs> would happen. I think the main highlight was uh, when we won gold at the World Championships in 2006 with the national team. Oh, I still laugh when I see footage of uh, myself and a couple of other girls jumping up and down on the sideline, waiting for the last 20 seconds to tick over so we could run out and celebrate with the team. So yeah, it was definitely um, an amazing experience, something I'll never forget. And um, I don't think the whole group of girls that were there will ever forget it. Muscle White contain Glover 12, but Grimer, she might have a chance to finish. To be chosen to be MVP of the league. It seems so long ago now, <laughs> I feel so old. And that was an amazing, I um, think probably something that I never thought would actually happen to me. Um, coming from when I first started, not really being able to catch and everything else. So with the team that we had at Berlin, it was um, easy to be able to play well because um, a lot of the focus, I guess, was about um, the offense and being able to get the ball to me. So without that happening, like I wouldn't have won it. So yeah, it was something that I never thought I'd actually be able to achieve and um, I'm very proud of it. I only ever played in the National League with one club, Berlin, and I played a season in Italy, um, one in, then I went to France, then I went to the Czech Republic and then back to France for my last year and then came home. Before the Worlds um, in 2010, um, I just went for a regular I guess, pap smear test. Um, and while I was at the pre-tournament before Worlds, I got a call to say that the results were a bit abnormal and I'd need to get further tests. So I consulted the doctors and that um, with the Opals and he said once after Worlds, because I was going directly to France to play for a season, he said, um, once you get there, go for more tests. So I did that, which was interesting with French doctors and not really knowing what was going on. So I had some more tests and when I got the results to say I would need to probably have surgery, then I remember just getting straight home. Like, I think it was the early hours of the morning in Australia and calling my husband and my mum and that and I was in tears because I just by myself and getting that but you know at the end of the day there was nothing I could do till I did get home and pretty much saw the surgeons in Melbourne and handed them my results in French and a couple of the um, cells had just started to turn cancerous so I pretty much just got it at the right time so after that happened and I always knew that I wanted to have kids quite young and have a family and after that it was kind of just like basketball or have a family and I just chose that I wanted to have kids and that was the next thing I was going to do. Hello Bob. Yeah it's changed a lot. I've got two kids now. Emerson will be three in March and my son Paxton is ten months so almost one and time has flown. I wouldn't change it. Um, after all my achievements with basketball definitely becoming a mum has been my greatest achievement so far. Just do it. Yeah. They're definitely going to be tall. I'm six foot three and my husband's about six foot six. So at two years old, they doubled Emerson Fight and she's meant to be about two metres tall. So I'm thinking I've got the next big Cambridge on my hands here. And no doubt her brother will be even taller. So I think they're going to be sports people, even though Emerson tells me that she loves to dance. I haven't had the heart to tell her that it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> nice play there from the Boomers. I can't say I miss it too much. I don't sit here and go, oh, I wish I could play again, because obviously I could if I wanted to, but the thing I probably miss the most is the friendships and the socialising part of it, being around a group of great girls and sharing in something. That's probably the thing that I miss the most, but the actual exercise, no. <laughs>